I must be careful now. Some surly guests outside. Eivor, we were... Uh, we, we didn't see you enter. Have you stepped out today? There's a strange feeling brewing in the streets. I've heard the shouts. The deaths of Avgos and Frieswith have angered many. Let us hope the compass numbers among the offended. I don't doubt it. But are we ready for him? Let us go over all that has happened up till now. Trigger was killed and dismembered by men who worked for him. Men he trusted. Avgos, the Arrow. Our brother in arms. He wanted Lunden for the Order. And the good sister. That's another knife to the back. London Saint. Sister Frieswith. She was the leech and the city was her meat market. Your bishop has already issued an apology on behalf of the church. It is time we focused on the compass. Gather all we know, and lay it out, plain as day. Aye. We let fly the feather dart. Cut raven ink from a cowering quill. Now we wait, wolf-tensed, for the master of the river rip to return and revenge his shaken warriors. Well, well. This one's got the gift of all its meat. What is on your mind, though? We know the compass is a sailor. A captain from Francia. And he won't like hearing he's got a leak in his hull, so to speak. With the death of the leech and the arrow, you want to hit back. But we can't know how or when. Apart from this, the man's invisible. Coward, if you ask me. Burn in your hell, you bloody reeves! We're pinned in! Is there another way out? The tower! There's an open window they can't have reached! I'll go up. You find a way out. A 
taste of the hellfire you'll see! <laughs> I had a view of the city from the roof. There's a new flotilla in the harbor. The compass, bastard. If we commandeered the Springwoods and Av Gosport, we could rain a cloud of arrows on the invaders. I'd sooner take the flank and go around this army to the boats. If we cut the head off this beast, the Order's men will be easy to rout. I will go my own way. Less danger to you both. Whatever happens, this ends tonight. May God guide our souls and cover our backs. Don't be reckless, little boys. We'll see you when it's done, Erke. Count on it. Godspeed, my friends!
my friends. So this is the compass, large enough to port an ocean. Well, look here, Sto and Erke's lapdog. You've stolen me from Frankia! to aid your master! Burning to ash what you cannot possess, that is a child's way out. To hell with London. Udika was right to burn it to the ground. It's a brick and mortar shithouse. So bright and beautiful, set aflame. Will you rule over these cinders now? Yoke its people to your whims and needs? You do have power here. Power you have earned. I have finished my work in London. That is enough. <laughs> London is only a beginning. My order reaches further than your tiny boats can take you. Never forget, Trigger, my old friend. A man at sea may have gold and glory. But he is always a slave to the churning tides. We are that time.
The drinker we must thank for our good fortune. How do I look? Half drowned and half burned? Not half of either. And far better for the blood on your blade. The compass is dead. London is yours to wreck or rebuild. We will rebuild. We'll strengthen the walls, reunite families, and likely use less wood, more stone. <laughs> Ill-timed, Erke. I'd like a quiet moment to pray. We'll take it together. Until our next meeting, I trust you will heed my call if I should send for you. You came to London in search of a friend, Eivor. You found two. Aye, Broga. And you deserve this. A silver ring for your raven perch. It was Trigger's before he gifted it to me. I say you've earned the rights to wear it now. I'm touched, Erke. I will carry it with pride. Seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. <laughs>